Yuri, you have bent hundreds of spoons in your lifetime. What, what do you have to say for yourself? Well, I have an enormous silverware bill, and, and I cannot get into restaurants anymore. <laughs> no, no, seriously, David. Spoon bending, key bending, it's all the same, you uh, know. It, it, it's a trick, right? Now, now come on, Yuri, you can, you can be honest here. Not a trick, not a trick, David. I, honestly, I, I have been subjected to, to horrible tests. I, I once bent a spoon with no clothes on. I, I once bent a key in total darkness. I, I once bent a spoon with a key in it in Cleveland. People send me their bent keys. They, they were lying on top of the TV set when I started working, and now they're bent. They can't even get into the houses. Now, now look, an ordinary key. I will take it out. Now, here, watch. I'm, I'm, I'm rubbing it, and, it, and it's bending. Bending, it's concentrate, everyone. Okay, concentrate, David. Okay, look, it's bending. <clears throat> okay, okay, see? See, it's a little bent. Well... You know, it's hard to do these tricks with all the lights coming down and the cameras and, and everyone looking at me and everything. I, I, I understand you have a new uh, trick. Oh, oh, yes. It's not a trick, though, David. Not a, not a trick. I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. I can fry an egg in my hand. <laughs> a, an egg? Come, it, come on now, Yuri. It's true. It's true. I can, I can fry an egg in my hand. Now, I'm, I'm spreading... Okay. I'm spreading these, these napkins over my jeans here. It's perfect Israeli jeans that I wear, you and I want you to break this break egg, the egg in my hand. Right. In your hand? Oh. Right here, right in my hand. There you go. Oh, it's slippery, slippery. Yeah, but it is. Okay, now I'm concentrating on making my hand warm. <coughs> uh, Yuri, how long does this usually take? I don't know. I've never done the trick before. Would you like bacon and toast too, David? Uh, <laughs> while you're just frying, we like don't make fun, David. I'm <laughs> uh, We're going to talk to the amazing Corkskin, who is a mentalist. David, I know you're a skeptic and an intelligent man, both of which will make my effects difficult to perform. <laughs> but what I want you to do is to simply draw a picture on this notepad and then seal the pad inside this perfectly opaque envelope. <laughs> no, no, wait. I, I'm not a skeptic, and this envelope isn't exactly opaque, either. Opaque, transparent, I can see through them all. Don't peek. I see with my mind. Hmm. <laughs> uh, this envelope is opaque. I uh, folded up my drawing. All right, um, I see, I see a circular... Nope. More of an oval, yes, an oval shape. No. It's coming to me, it's coming to me. The lines are straight, uh, a square? Uh-uh. Of course not, um, too few lines, a triangle. No, no. Probably not on the triangle, no, not, not a triangle. Um, a rhomboid? You guessed it. I do not guess, I know. And I explain it all in my new book. How's the uh, egg coming there, you? Oh, it's really going well, David. This egg is definitely heating up. Mr. Harry Chews is at my right. Mr. Chews claims to be a telekinetic. David, I am taking parts of my body and actually detaching them and uh, sending them all over the country. Uh, my legs are in Toledo. And um, my other parts have been inserted into other countries. And my wife makes a great omelet. Well, well then, then you're not a telekinetic. I wrote this book. Dr. Sigmund Frog analyzes dreams, and of course, he too has a book. And this book analyzes more than four of the world's most common dreams. He's volunteered to analyze some of the audience's dreams for us today. Yes. You, please. Well, I had this dream last night. Mm -hmm. I dreamt that I was dreaming, you see, which was quite unusual. No, not at all, really. See, but then someone came into my room and woke me up. Mm -hmm. But I was still dreaming. I dreamed that I woke up, and then I got out of bed, but mm -hmm. I was still asleep. So I was dreaming that I was awake. But then I think I really woke up. See, so now I was awake, but then I thought I was dreaming, so I tried to wake up. Uh -huh. uh, do you follow me? Um, yeah. Uh, see, but then I couldn't wake up, so I decided maybe to just relax and enjoy what I thought was a dream, but then... Uh, well, this is, this is easily explained. Sure enough, someone came in and tried to awaken me again, and then I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Look, my egg is bending.